Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, the road to 56 as United Scandinavia. So we've basically stalled here in Northern Germany, and I'm starting to think, it looks like there's a gap in our lines there. I'm starting to think that we should pull back to Hamburg, Hamburg and Rostock. Before we do that though, yeah, we're running low on all this stuff. So. And that this this rather large river here, I forget what it is. Is that the Elbe? I really need to look this up. That's going to be a nice solid defensive line there. I swear, that sounds like he's saying bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. So, first things first. Cause anything that isn't the, isn't the infrastructure repair. Or forts. Am I? Oh yeah. Not quite doing that. Meanwhile, put these guys here, where I believe I've put these. Right. And then the old reaction force. I'm going to put them here as a fullback line across, across the Kiel Canal. Again, we're just not going to... I just think we don't have enough troops to push. That's really it. Yeah, we're losing the um, air superiority. Basically, I need to start pulling back, and I need to start pulling back now. Put these up first, because I can't make these do these free of charge. It. Need to start pulling back. Well, we pushed further than I had expected. The only question I have now is how many people are we going to lose pulling out? I might just put. I'm going to push these guys here to try and, try and hold up the hold up Brunswick a little bit. Anything I can get here? Oh, infantry expert? Yes. I did go to service by requirement in the last episode, but probably left that a little too late. The reason why I'm usually reluctant to is you can see it has a massive debuff to construction output training time. But maybe I should have done that. I'm kind of annoyed at myself at this because the Germans are going to get this fleet back, and that's not something I really want. Yeah, mm, Task Force can't really deal with much because...
Yeah, I swear he's saying bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> Corrections on what he's actually saying would be hand would be welcome. Yeah, we do have some American youths and British youths helping out, but we just can't hold. Give up a few more infantry divisions to. Basically, I'm expecting that there will be losses, especially since we're being pushed quite heavily down here. Second thoughts, I change Sweden to here. Actually, try and hold the hold this line. Ooh, I do not like this look at, I do not like the look of this pocket here. Hard to tell with all these divisions here. I haven't lost any, you, any divisions yet. Ooh. Yeah, we lost a couple from the reaction force. Oh, Ooh, this is not good. We've lost another We just don't have the navy to stand up to them. Yeah, we are losing a lot of people here. Well, it was a good try, but... Oh, come on, load, will you? Is there anything here I can actually use? Not really short of iron or railways. What I am short of is rubber. Anything here I could get? Much use? Hmm, jet engines wouldn't be a bad idea, but... Well, later on. Bicycle infantry. Hmm. Let's start switching towards mechanized. Uh, for now, I just need, I need, I think I really need construction engineering. Though it doesn't really apply to any of these, which I'm kind of irritated about. Well, I think we might have managed to get at least one of our one of our divisions out of there. Out of Wilhelmshaven, so at least we got that going for us. We did get one of our spies back. Or else. Signed. Hmm. Okay, I'll put you on counterintelligence as well because we have a lot of spot enemy spies there. Well, we've managed to. We're still pulling out, but we've only lost one division from the reaction force, and they were pretty much under strength to begin with. So, I'm gonna have these guys train up a bit just to get them back up to full strength. Now, I, th I think Sweden can actually hold there because we've put we've got a few decent forts there. Rostock is 
That's an urban environment, or I can't re I can't really tell. Maybe a couple of forts here wouldn't be a bad shout. Okay, so construction engineering is to get those forts up quick. Um, at the moment, we're not losing too many, too much manpower. It's just this pocket here I'm not very happy about. Basically, having to micromanage everything to get the get them to pull back. Naval invasion here on Rostock, yeah, that's not a surprise. Yeah, we're losing quite a bit of troops here. Bugger. It's pretty much most of our battle line completely wiped out. And submarines as well. This is not going all that well. Yep, we do not have the Navy for this. On the plus side, we have got most of our, our land forces out. Still kind of gutted that we lost the um, one division. And we're losing a lot of manpower from this. I think it might be time to start buffing up our field hospitals. Especially since we're losing uh, enemy bombing is not such a big deal for now. Oh, we've already buffed them. Spend this on now. I know this is only slightly ahead of time, but thanks to attack and strategic bombing would be helpful. We are chewing through a lot of planes. Let's see the yep. Do have anti air on the like all of these divisions. But again, it just take it's just Manpower is turning into a massive problem. Most of our troops have managed to most of our troops have managed to pull back across the river at least, so we have that. So take a breath take a breather, figure out what we're doing next. Well rebuilding. Let's see. What's the resistance like here? Yeah, one of the reasons I'm pulling back is we're wasting a lot of manpower just farming, just holding down the German resistance. And it looks like we at least have. Let's see, where's the naval base? Right here in Hamburg? Or in Hanover? Which tile actually has this because so I can see where it is. Okay, it's here. Crap. I think I'm just gonna build the one here. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Hamburg to Flensburg, that is gonna be a major supply need drag, so 
build up there. Right, I'm going to go with quality manufacturing because it means we're going to use less fuel, which we're always short of. I'm not sure of right now, but you know what I mean. And our tanks will be even more reliable. Logistics Company 2, that's going to help with that as well. I'm not entirely sure, but it looks like the Germans can't really... Oh, I spoke too soon. They're actually able to push in here. But they can't push into us. Which means we have a foothold here and... Right, time to, time to change this up a bit. Full back line. Oh, you idiot. Okay. Change this to a front line. And apparently they don't outnumber us, but See if I can count the number of divisions they have trying just trying to contain this pocket. Two, four, seven, twelve, thirteen, four, nineteen. They might have about or about forty, fifty divisions here. Spread out along here. That's forty or fifty divisions that are not out here. Here against the Soviets. And to say not to say nothing of ones they have down here in Greece, trying to lend some air support in Greece. Yeah, we pushed a little too far or south, I think, but but I think we can hold. If not, we've got a decent fallback line here above the Kiel Canal. And our old Schleswig line here to fall back to. So, this isn't the worst position to be in. Like, these guys here are, are pretty screwed, and there's not much I can really do about them. We're chewing through a lot of planes that I'm very much in supply of. That means we've now lost quite a few factories as well. So. Means I have to keep all these all these things here. Yeah, that wasn't that kind of went the way I expected it to. Good news is I don't think they can really, I don't think they can really push again. Fortunately, neither can we. We lost a lot of shit doing that. Wait this area unless there's no alternative. Last one of our pirates turning into be, be a bit of a problem. Never have enough of it. Doing the intelligence side, not really.
Yeah, these guys, these guys are dead. Nothing I can do about it, though. Good news is that they're all too disorganized to really push. Oh. Yeah, I think I pushed way too soon. Basically, a couple of episodes ago, I saw the, um... The Netherlands had overthrown them. Figured it was as good a time to push as any. Now, I'm not sure it was worth it. Apparently, this doesn't count as a superior force. A superior enemy. Even though they're... We're roughly equal. Denmark is slightly stronger, apparently. For what, for what that's worth. Well, we got some more submarines back, so get out there and start raiding those convoys, people. And now it says we're at numbers. They can't push in, which means we can just tie them down here. Honestly, I'll consider that to be not quite a victory, but certainly an improvement. Well, now we have 8% of the war effort. That's like, really? Yeah, the US is only 2% now. Of course, the Soviets have done most because of the mechanic. Have <clears throat> so we have taken what? 232,000 casualties. And we've got 622 on the German. 3k on the Soviets. Uh, Soviets? Slovak stage. Not that many on Italy because they only send single divisions. I think we're kind of punching above our weight there. Maybe not by much. More, as much as I'd like, but we're getting there. And since I now have the a lot of land XP to spare, I'm going to build up one giant garrison division. The way the garrisons work in this is, divisions work is if I went and showed here. Currently, with with a single division, we need eleven. Different entry divisions just to hold this area. But if I bump this up to this, it would drop down to less than one. Which means it scales better. Oops. Motorized? Nope. Not once. So usually what a lot of guys will recommend you do is do a single cavalry e battalion for your gar for garrisons because Requires the most amount of suppression for the least amount of supplies. Like, let's see, where is it? Yeah, this just requires a thousand manpower, 120 infantry equipment, and provides two suppression. But once you've got the. Like, this is gonna be. Re this is just gonna be very, very chunky. Like, this will be utterly useless in combat. And military police, if you have them, that'll buff this as well. Especially since if we add them, that's support equipment. It means we only need one or two support bits of support equipment, minuscule amount. Okay, the Germans are starting to draw close to Leningrad. Looks like this push didn't quite work as well as I'd have liked. Well, but it looks like the Brits have landed in, in Sicily. We've got that, at least. And the French have taken Corsica and Sardinia. I think the best thing I can do right now is build up a few more radio stations. Just to help deal with air detection. 
well, what they do do as a in these play in when playing this game is throw as many of the of these radar stations up as I can get away with. It's not flashy, but it has a size impact. And we've started building more factories to try and get some of these back. We're very short of play of planes due to the lack of rubber we have. That's what the that's what the, the this lot was for, but sorry, that side. Uh, we're doing a fair bit of damage to their logist to the German logistics as well. Just some bombing some buildings that are strap armors. They are losing a lot to anti air though, so strap armors, medium bombers. Might just ease on Because they have anti-air here. Certainly Berlin. I don't think the AI ever bothers to actually build them. So that's one thing we can probably screw around with. Just let them to only go during the night because I don't think we have I just don't think we have the second thoughts. I'm only going to bother doing um, logistic strikes over here in, uh, I think, the, oh, Arizona is this, Northwest Germany. Simply put, they don't have any anti-air. I know to pick your battles, and not very good at that, am I? Every sodding time we send out, send out a fleet, they... They end up getting wiped by the Ger by the German cruisers. I think I, I need to rethink how I'm doing how I'm doing this. I've, I've basically upgraded the uh, Gotland class to something like this. Some extra anti air, not great. Oh, sorry, that's the good. Oh, damn it! Click the right thing, you moron. Some armor, some better engines, secondaries, mine laying. Ah. I might just get rid of those because I'm not really using them. This is only useful against um yeah, this is a capital ship. Went wrong there. But these are more heavy cruisers, but I'm also gonna need way more destroyers as well. Okay, which means I need to break these any for I guess these old Spherica class ships are just not useful anymore. They are pretty dated. These. Again, this land is probably the best place to. Uh, yeah, this war has turned into another stalemate again, like the previous war. I think the Germans are further than I are pushing further than I'd like, but we would have got a little bit further if we weren't drawing troops away from them. More import more importantly, once they get back here, the German supply network is going to be absolute. I might just start putting some of my extra spies here here to try and build up some intel. And we're kind of playing the waiting game until things happen. Italians are trying to push the Brits out of Sicily. Good luck with that. That's where the Soviets and yeah, they're starting to put they're starting to push in here. But the supply network is awful at this part of the world. It's gonna build another things up a bit. 
uh, it tells me to keep pushing all this stuff back. Push it down here. This area looks relatively stable and they're not short of supply. Still something I want to get out of the way. Here. Three, I think. Oh, air ground radar? What if I do? So basically what you want to do is stack as many of these electronics bits as you can in your put on your bombers because it'll it seriously reduces the night penalty they have with on strategic bombing or tactical bombing or whatever. And they don't they don't weigh much. So there's really no reason not to. These fighters, on the other hand, got space for. Why just get rid of the drop tanks and go with an air to air radar? I know it does reduce their um, range a bit. Well, see, I'll leave that for now. Air support. Again, I'm going to leave this for now. I think at some point after I've got Signal Company 2, I can't remember why I'm researching that now. What I'm going to do is... Start researching um, aircraft cannons. These cannons deal a hell of a lot more damage. And then I'm also going to go into aircraft engines 4 just to, just to get some extra speed and agility out of them. Well, I think that's going to be it for that for that's going to be it for this episode. So yeah, our initial push into Berlin went well up until it didn't. But at this point, we are basically drawing Italian, Hungarian, and Romanian troops and some nationalist Spain volunteers away from the from the Russians' front line. Granted, the Germans are still pushing. But if things go, but I suspect things will not, not, they won't be able to keep pushing once the, their supply lines run out. Anyway, see you in the next one. For now.